integer index values are uh, used uh, also in different many types of collections and uh, it is easy to um, write in uh, uh, program code uh, expressions uh, that use the index to refer to uh, particular objects uh, for example, uh, the uh, first object will be uh, the object at index 0. Uh, the third object uh, will be the object at index 2. Um, the uh, last object, uh, the object at index uh, um, size minus 1. The first three objects uh, will be uh, the objects at index 0, 1 and 2. And uh, the last three objects uh, will be uh, the objects um, from index uh, size uh, minus 4 to size minus 1 and it is also possible to go through all the objects uh, by using uh, an integer um, index variable uh, and um, it will be incremented by 1 each time it starts from 0 and goes to size minus 1 uh, but uh, uh, this is uh, um, um, a concept uh, that um, uh, uses uh, loops and iteration now uh, there is an exercise how to remove I have to write a method call for dates to remove the third object. Let me add objects to dates. So now, uh, yes, I can uh, do dates dot remove the object that position two, the index two. Let's test. Um,
Oops. So now the uh, third object is replaced by the fourth object because the third object was removed and now everything that was after the third object was uh, moved by one position down. So if uh, uh, um, an object is at position uh, has index 6 uh, and uh, uh, the object at index 0 and uh, uh, another object at index 9 are removed then the object at index 6 uh, will go to index 5 uh, because uh, it uh, when uh, the uh, object at uh, position 0 is removed uh, then um, all the subsequent uh, uh, objects are uh, uh, moved uh, a position down uh, and so from 6 it goes to 5 so uh, there are uh, these concepts about any um, any collection that has these integer uh, index values um, that stay the same. So uh, th uh, the index uh, starts always at zero. Um, the, there is an ordering in the, uh, in these uh, uh, objects that are stored, and. Um, when uh, an object is removed, uh, then all the subsequent uh, objects are moved.
So this method should uh, print uh, what the index is if it is uh, a valid uh, index uh, for the current state of the collection. And let's test. Uh, let's test with uh, empty collection. Okay, doesn't print any index. Maybe if I do five, it doesn't print any index. And now by adding some files So index one okay, the formatting is not very good, but I can fix that and an invalid parameter. Uh, the index will not print anything. So now I write the alternative version. It has to return a boolean. Parameter, but if this holds, then it should return true. Otherwise, it should return false. Now I can also substitute with the expression that is in here in list file and remove file. test it well, what should I test mm, just valid index
Now the collection is empty. So valid index. Uh, any parameter should return false. Zero false. One false. Let's try five false. Now adding some files. Let's add these two. Now valid index zero should return true and it returns true. Valid index one should also return true and it returns true. And valid index five returns false. And what about valid index two? It returns false. 